Hello everyone. We will continue the topic smart forms and we are discussing the topic that it is always preferable that your selection logic or select queries should be in the driver program. And we have written the selection logic in the driver program. We simply, simply pass the data to the smart form and we are displaying. Now, there's a question in everyone's mind. You pass the internal table, header internal table and item internal table to the smart form. And in the smart form, we have written a read table statement to pass the data to work area. Because for the header, yes, we have a single record because you are passing a single order number. So we will always get a single record into this internal table. Now, maximum people will ask, can we directly pass a work area from the, from the driver program so that there is no need for read table statement also? Yes, that is also, also possible. See, for item data, we cannot go for this because in the item data, you are putting a loop here itself. But yes, we can avoid, we can avoid this read table statement also in the smart form. This logic also we can write in the driver program itself. So rather than internal table, you can directly pass the work area also. It is totally, totally your wish. Suppose if I will show you. Now in the program itself, I will write a read table statement read table what is your header internal table your header data is coming into which internal table lt underscore data into suppose here i will give the name of the work area lwa data so that you can understand fully i am writing index one because we all know there is always, always one record in the internal table because we are passing a single order number and always, always based upon that single record will come into the internal table. I will declare the work area. Here I will write LWA data type LTY underscore data. Now your header data is now into this particular work area, work area. How you will pass this work area to your smart form? You all know very, very well. You need to take a particular parameter in the form interface. It's a golden rule. Whatever is in your program, how it will pass to the smart form? through form interface only because you can give a input, you can take output through form interface only. Suppose I will take a particular parameter in the form interface. Suppose I will take work area. I am writing ls underscore data. I will give ls data directly because otherwise I need to change everywhere in these windows. If you remember in every window, you are referring LS data, LS data. If I will give a different name here, I need to change at so many places. So I will give LS data type. Now here you are now going for work area. Work area is never, never a table type. Work area is always, always a structured type. Do you already have a work area of five column? Yes, we already have a work area. We already have a structure. Sorry, we already have a structure of five column. If you remember, 
we already created a global structure of five column. I cannot go for local structure here. Now, I took a additional parameter in the form interface. Now, this work area has our header data, header data. Now, I will go to global definitions. Now, we already have LS data. So now there is no need for LS data. Now, there is no need for logic because we have already written the logic in the driver program itself. Now, I will simply remove LT header also. I will check the syntax and I will activate. So now I have three parameters in the smart form form interface. Now here I have only only two parameters. So if I will call again, you will see we will get the third parameter also. So if I will run this particular smart form, this is the function module of the smart form. I will go to pattern. Why I am calling the game? So that there will not be any confusion. I can add directly here also. But have you seen? We are getting now three parameters. So in front of LT header, you can go for LT data. Now in front of LT item, you can go for LT data one. Now in front of LS data, you can simply, simply pass LWA data. Intentionally, I gave a different name so that you can understand this is program and this is smart form. We should uncomment the exceptions. Yes. And rather than this, we should go by what? LV underscore F name. Now, there is no need for internal table now. Yes, because you already took the header data in the work area itself. So I am passing the work area for the header and item internal table. So this is your wish. You can go by this way also. If you do not want to write read table also in the smart form, but yes, it is it will never, never impact the performance. Yes. From performance perspective, it's your wish. You want to write in the program or you want to write in the smart form, but yes, select queries. You should always, always avoid writing in the smart form. So it is totally your wish how you want to go. Suppose I will comment this. So those who want to go for directly work area from the driver program, they can go for this particular approach also. Suppose I will go for, I will revert this. I will delete this additional work area. I will declare in the global definition itself. You can go by previous approach, no problem. You will get same to same output. I will pass. This is our head. I will go to initialization. I will uncomment and here I will write LT underscore head. So I reverted. Because many people will ask this query. That's why I showed the demo here itself that you can go for read table from you can pass that data from you can pass that data directly into work area from the program also. I will comment. I will comment. Now I will check the syntax and activate this particular program. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, what we covered is yes, because we have written the read table statement in the smart form. So many people will ask, yes, 
can we avoid this read table also writing in the smartphone yes in our current requirement yes we can avoid you are passing the internal table to the smartphone then you are passing the data to the work area using read table so rather than passing the internal table you can directly pass the work area so what you can do you can simply move the data from work area to internal table so from the internal table to work area in the program itself then you can take a additional parameter in the form interface for the work area header work area now you have three parameters in the form interface you can simply simply comment read table statement from here but yes i will always say why why i used ls underscore data here because if i will not go to for ls data i have to change so many places that's why i put ls underscore data excel now after that you will get the three parameters here and you can pass the work area if you are passing the header work area directly then there is no need for header internal table because ultimately we are referring the work area to display the values in the smartphone now in the next video we will understand everything in the debugging mode whenever we will go for debugging mode we will get a error error and at that time we will come on to the topic currency slash quantity field one of the extremely important topic from the interview perspective because in every interview when we ask just give us a scenario where you made use of this particular tab now this turn this particular tab turns will come whenever i will go for debugging and we will not get the output whenever i will go for debugging at that time this particular tab will come into picture so that's it in this particular video thank you